Welcome to this log logic tutorial video on index searches. In this tutorial, we will be exploring how to perform an index search on a log logic log management intelligence or LMI appliance. To understand log logic LMI index searching, we need to understand how log logic stores its data on the back end and how the retrieval is done. Any data that is sent to log logic is stored in the file system and then this data is indexed for faster retrieval of the data. These indexes contain various fields that help LogLogic quickly filter the events based on the search query and present it to the users. For instance, if a user selects a time frame and executes a search looking for all Bluecoat device data, the first step would be to query the indexes and get the relevant time period index data. Next, we would filter on device type. Log Management Intelligence supports up to 32 different device types. If users are searching for a specific type, LMI filters out data based on the device type number, and then searches for data corresponding to the desired device type. This is then presented in the user interface. Let's take a look at how this is done. When you first log into the LMI, you will see the following screen. Click the Search tab on the top you will see various options to search for the data on LMI. Index search, regex search, and advanced search. In this tutorial, we will explore index search capabilities. Index searches target their search based on what type of device has sent the data. By default, if a search is executed, it searches against all types that exist on the system, except for LogLogic LMI's own logs. In this example, we will choose to search against Microsoft Windows type data. Select that and add it to the list. The Date Time Picker has two options. One lets you choose from a list of preset times. Another is a calendar that lets you pick your start date and time and end date and time. In this example, we will choose the last one hour. Execute this search by clicking on Run. By default, since there are no filters on what to look for, LMI notifies the users that it's retrieving all logs. As we can see, there are many event IDs that show up for the past hour. Let's see how filtering works. We will filter for event ID 576. The 576 event ID indicates specified privileges were added to a user's access token. The event is generated when the user logs on. We will put in event ID 576. LMI will now only search for logs that relate to that event ID. We can couple this with other keywords using the AND operator. LMI color codes different keywords. We can also use other operators such as NOT and OR. We can also use wildcard to search, in case we don't know the literal match. Click on the View Settings option, and we can see a timeline of events. A bar chart showing when the events arrived is displayed. We can change the view from time-based to device-based. In this case, all the data was from a single IP address. We can also change the properties of the chart from bar chart to line chart. Users can quickly save their results set by clicking one of these buttons. They can save it in CSV or PDF format or open the result as an HTML page. This is how an HTML page appears. Clicking the download button on top downloads this as a PDF. This marks the end of this tutorial. For more resources, please refer to the following pages.